Okay, I've got my new face-off e-bike. It is the Switchback Beast Bafang 5-speed hub mid-drive. This thing is a beast. I've had it since April. I'm gonna do a little walk around video on it today. Just kind of show some features and everything I've done. I've done some custom stuff on it. I wanna show you the bowl holder, the rack, um, the handle, everything. The functionality of this thing is amazing. I used it in turkey season, but also scouting, um, you know, or just doing things around the farm. You know, I went in and put a pole saw on it and put a chainsaw and went in this you know, spring when I was doing some hinge cutting, do some TSI, I made it all work. And this thing is badass. So I want to dive into the, some of the, the features today. Like I said, it's the mid drive. It has all the benefits of the, you know, single speed, which I have a single speed hanging right here. That's the hunter edition. I had that last year. That's the single speed. That's great. Um, but this is even better because the single speed only goes 16 mile an hour. This has the benefits and the power and everything that the single speed does, but the beauty of it is it goes 30 miles an hour. So it's fast and it's got a really cool features to it. Um, this does have what I think four or five different stages. So you can dial it back. You can go eco, you can go um, sport mode, sport plus or boost. And I'm trying to play around with all those right now and see the benefits of it, obviously. Things climb hills better than other things, but you can dial this thing down for certain public lands. And um, so far, it's been really good. So let's dive into some of those features. All right, so first feature I wanna talk about is up front here, this rack and the bow holder. So it's a really cool bow holder. It's actually got the face off logo in it. Um, but what I did is it doesn't come with all this padding. I put all the padding on. I just didn't want anything to make any noise. So. I threw all this padding on. I think I got this stuff from Home Depot. You know, it's basically for piping, um, plumbing pipe or whatever. I did a whole bunch of zip ties and then I got like a workout mat. I had some from Home Depot and then zip tied that in there. And I put some cell strip on it. So I had a whole bunch of cell strip from Lou laying around. So I put cell strip on it. I just wanted everything to be super quiet. And if I wanted to throw cameras in there, backpack, no matter what, like I just wanted to throw it in there and not have to worry about tanging around. I do have one bungee strap on it, just in case you need to bungee anything over. I did have another one, which I have no idea where that's at. I always carry two bungee straps with me. You just never know. Um, and then the bow holder, this is really cool. It's, these are the coal pin, I think uh, XL, I believe they are. They come with it. So everything you see other than the customization that I just did on that rack comes with this bike. So this coal pin, gun or bow holder is nice now last year i ran the like i said i ran the single speed and you can kind of see up top i had to put the coal pin i bought those myself i put the coal pin on the handlebars the only downfall to that on that bike was the handlebars were too uh they weren't they weren't long enough to have like your throttle and the screen for everything on there and be able to put those on there so i had to buy amazon um i bought longer handlebars from amazon these handlebars i believe are 25 inches which are great they're short they will fit down like a cornfield or a corn like a lot of cornfields if you need to if you need to get in a tight space i do like the the shorter handlebars but on that bike to get them on the handlebars i had to go longer which is no big deal but Dieter made a bracket now for here and puts it on the rack it's bolted on there it works money it is awesome then you don't have to worry about if you're you know going around and turning and everything you don't have to worry about your bow just like being all over and the shock absorber on the front really helps and this does not vibrate all that bad to be honest with you so really like that the next feature i'm going to go to is the throttle it is a twist throttle on the right hand um over here is how you turn it on so if you hold it down it comes on right there and then you do have a headlight headlight right there so that's pretty cool that comes on every time and then it'll shut off but if you want to use it there's a button right there on your little handle that uh you just hit it and then the headlight will come on so let's go through the modes real quick so right here it's an eco you can do tour sport sport plus 
and boost. Obviously, boost is going to give you the most torque and the and the best speed and everything. So, like when I'm going down the road, because I drive this bike down the road a lot to go to a different farm or something, um, I use the boost. And like I said, I can go 30 mile an hour, 31, 30, 31 mile an hour. And I actually had it going 38 miles an hour, but don't tell anybody that. The wind was at my back and I was going down the hill just shushing. Her. So it was flying. But uh, yeah, so the boost is obviously going to give you your best. The touring, I believe, don't quote me on this, but I think the touring, you're only able to go, what is it, touring or eco? Might be eco. I think you only go eight mile an hour. I think that's what it is. Don't quote me on that, but it, it does dial back your torque and dial back your speed on some of those modes. I just haven't played with them enough to really dial in all the modes. I've just been going as fast as I could because I just want to go fast. But that's the other feature to it, which is great. Um, the handlebars are very comfortable. They've got good grips on them. And uh, I really like that as well. In that mode, I'm not going to go through the menu today, but that menu, there's a ton of stuff. You can customize a lot of different looks. Um, it does tell you your miles, your odometer, uh, your battery life, tells you how far you can go as well on, a, on how much you have uh, a charge on your battery. It will tell you, I think it's an estimation, I believe what it is. Don't quote me on that either. But like I said, this is just a new unboxing. Only had it for a little while, so still learning it all. All right, let's move to the next feature, what I really, really like. Well, let's go here. Disc brakes. It does have disc brakes. It's got shocks. You can adjust these shocks as well. You can adjust to, you know, if you want them stiffer, do you want a little, little bit lighter, but uh, that's really cool. Just by the twist of the button, you have these, which are crucial. I mean, dewy mornings and stuff like that, but you have these mucky nuts. Is uh, They're just plastic zip tied on, but it's a really good system and it works really good and you don't get mud up in your face, uh, which is great. So right here, you can adjust your shocks, which is good. I really haven't played much with this bike, but my single speed from last year, I did play with those, got those dialed right in. And then like I said, disc brakes. Um, one of the cool features of this is this handle. So this bike is 80 to 85 pounds, somewhere in there. So it, it's a beast. Like it is, it is a, a good bike. I mean, it's, I'm no big guy, but uh, sometimes you know, if you're loading on your rack to, to load it up on your pickup or your vehicle or whatever it might be, it is kind of hard to pick it up if you don't have that handle. That handle works out great to help you load it. So that's another good feature. Really cool feature is the seat. It's a Cloud 9. Look at this. It's got gel foam. Oof. Mama. I mean, just a really cool seat. It's called Cloud 9. I think you can get those on Amazon too, but there's a lot of customization. You can take that off. If you want a different seat, you can get a different seat, take it off and put the new one on. So a difference in this bike too, and I'm not going to get into the weeds on this because I just don't know a ton about it yet. I'm still learning from Dieter and I'm learning just by having the bike. Like I said, I've only had this for a little while, but it's not a chain. Okay. This is belt driven and there's, there's no derailer. There's no chain tensioner, nothing like that. It is a belt driven this thing pulls, it goes up hills. Like I haven't found anything that it cannot do. Let's put it that way. So that belt so far has sold me and you don't have to worry about chain lube or anything like that. So maintenance wise so far, I think it's spot on. Um, so Dieter, since I'm partnered with Osseo, did the Osseo Raptor camo on this one. Um, you do have a spot right here if you wanna put you know, some sort of mount for maybe a water bottle or something else. Got a couple screws there. Uh, moving back to the back of the bike. Now this is the standard rack on it. If I had any beef with it at all, I think I don't like how skinny the rack is. I want something that's a little bit bigger that will hold, you know, my pack or hold something else. This works fine, but I think I'm going to work with Dieter and see if we can figure out something there. Uh, what we did on my old bike is Dieter fabbed up my Rebel platform from Latitude on that. So that was cool. I, and after having that and having it a little wider, I want something a little wider. And I have a, a uh, deer cart that doubles as a e-bike trailer. So I really want to be able to attach it to that. And I cannot attach it to this just yet, but we're going to get that fixed up. 
Um, other than that, it's got the fat boy tires on it. Um, a lot of good tread on there. And this thing has done everything I wanted to do and more. And the biggest difference with an e-bike, just an e-bike in general, with this e-bike aside, with it in general, it just opens up so much more opportunity for myself. I'm not saying it's gonna open opportunity, opportunity for you, but now I'm getting permission on farms from neighbors to be able to ride across their hayfield or, you know, and it's quick. It's not like, you know, hey, can I use your, you know, your property to walk back? And I'm hunting a lot of pieces of property that are in the middle of a mile section. And this just helps getting in a lot quicker and a lot less sweat. And well, I'm lazy. Let's just put it there. I'm lazy. But this thing is great. And the deer, honestly, when you're driving by, they'll, if they're bedded, they'll pop up, they'll look, and then they'll kind of like just crouch down. I haven't had any deer spook from it. Now, that doesn't mean that I don't, there. I'm not spooking deer that I just don't know about. That could be possible as well. But from my experience and what I've seen so far, it's a home run. And uh, I really like this one. Like I said, this has all the benefits of a single speed, but it just goes faster. And it's got more torque and more power. So this is going to go up hills and everything. But yeah, that is the Switchback Beast Bafang 5-speed. Oh, I forgot to tell you, there is no gears, no gear changing and nothing like a mountain bike or anything. This 5-speed goes down the road just like a vehicle. So if you hammer it down the road, it'll go... It's a 5-speed. It's automatic. So it just switches gears just like a vehicle would. So that's really cool as well. And it's quiet. So... A lot of e-bikes out there, you know, when you, or even a pedal bike, when you stop pedaling, it's got that click to it. Like the, you know, I don't really know what the internal parts are that are clicking, but it is kind of loud. This is not, this does not do that with that belt and the whole situation that it's got going on. Dieter has really put a focus on being quiet and stealthy. So if you're going down the road or even in a field and you're getting closer to maybe where you want to hunt or going by some bedding or whatever it might be, if you're hitting the throttle and you let up on the throttle, the thing will not click. It doesn't, you know that mountain bike click you get when it's just, gee, 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 gee. I don't know, that's terrible, terrible audio, but you know what I'm talking about if you've rode a bike. And um, this thing does not do it, it's very quiet. Forgot to tell you here, this is where you charge it because this is your whole battery. Pop this open, there's a little hole in there and the charger goes right in there. And uh, it takes a couple hours to get a full charge. Man, that's it. I, I don't really know what else. I know I'm probably missing something. But like I said, I just wanted to get a video out there that is just doing the initial unboxing. I've only had it for a couple months and put 24 miles on it. And yeah, we're going to be doing another update throughout the year. And just kind of after I put more use in it, more miles on it to see how it performs. I know it's going to do good, but if you want to know from more information about these bikes, Dieter's got a, a plethora of bikes on his site that he builds. Go to faceoffebikes.com. It's a Michigan company. Dieter's an awesome guy. Um, he's a state state trooper, so support the blue as well. So uh, there it is. Go check him out, whether it's a single speed or a five speed hub. Um, oh, the other thing is too, if you use the code TFP, you'll get this bow mount. It's worth $100. You get it for free as well. So only on the Switchback and Hunter models, I believe it is. I know Switchback for sure. But check that out and use the code TFP at his website.